today, David had to go into work early, so he left me a list of all of the chores that he normally does in the morning. So I get to be the one to do the chores, so I thought I would bring y'all along with me to see me struggling to do all the stuff that he does every morning. And I also have to take the kids to music, and so I have to go back inside after I do the chores and get all the kids ready and in time for their music lessons about an hour away. So we gotta get moving. We have to soak their food, so while I'm going to get um, Cash, our other mini pig, his food, I'm going to let the girls soak. And I guess Cash has locked himself in the house. <laughs> we still haven't uh, attached the locks. Excuse me, girls. Come on. Come on. We still haven't attached the locks to keep the doors open yet. So sometimes in the mornings we come out and they've shut themselves in at night. soaking. I went ahead and threw the chicken there scratch while I let it soak a little bit longer. So let's go in here and let Mr. Cash out. Cash is my buddy. He got real sick whenever he was just a little piglet and so I had to nurse him a lot and so now we have a special little bond. So while I'm down here, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the eggs in the boxes. I'm not going in the coop. You can probably see that <laughs> whenever I opened the door to the chicken coop, um, I was hesitant to go in. We have a um, resident snake that loves to live right above the door. So every time I go in, I have to check above the door because I just don't do snakes. I do a lot of things, but I don't do snakes. Our girls are afternoon layers, but that's not a bad haul for this morning. I forgot my water jug. All right, so now that I've got these animals taken care of. Bye girls! Bye girls! I will move on to the goats. So now we get into guinea territory. So you may or may not be able to hear anything I say from this point out. Because of the loudest barn animals ever. take this to the goats. They're hungry. Maybe I better keep y'all out here. They're already attacking me.
now that they're all eating, I'm gonna see if I can get any close-ups of the little babies we had this season. more hiding in the stalls. These two were our last ones born. The sky and Everest, according to our kids. <laughs> All right, now that the goats are through, we are on to Bandit is our hog and I probably should have driven the golf cart but I'll do that to check out the water. Our other hogs have a feeder in their pen that David only has to fill up like once a week so we don't have to worry about them today but Mr. Bandit's all alone over here and he likes to chase you down for his food. Oh, this should be fun. Oh, no, I looked up. He pushed his bowl right up against the fence. Out. All right, so that is the last of feeding. Now I just have to drop down to the cows and the goats water, make sure that they hadn't knocked it off or anything. And then I get to go inside and clothe five children. <laughs> that might be the hardest chore of the day. and we're going to go check the waters because I don't feel like walking that far. check the pigs waters so I'm just gonna quickly run over here make sure they have water and bandit while well, we're driving by bandits I can see it from our driveway so David I didn't forget pigs waters good bandits waters good so we made it just in time we're loaded up and headed to music Today, David had to go into work early. Bye, 
outside hair day. Sorry guys. And now I've gotten the golf cart. Don't tell David I did that. <laughs> 